Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. This is going to be a spirit message for September and hopefully after hearing it, you'll want to like, share and subscribe. There's other spirit messages on my channel if you'd like to look at them. Spirit, please show me clearly, please, the message you want for Aries today. A change in the wind. This is a three. So it's about new, lay, I beg your pardon, it's about laying more, uh, solid foundations for yourself. It could be working on old projects, but there's new things coming forward now. So we're ready to focus on them. Unfinished symphony, putting things behind us that are going on and on forever. And number 10, which is the end of a cycle here. So there's a change in wind. Things are going to wind up here, whatever they may be here. Fork in the road, number four. Going towards stability again here. So a change is coming. That's going to put, you're going to have to decide which path you want to go down. But it's about putting an end to things. You might have to wrap some things up before you go down this new life path here. So we'll have a look and see what this is about. Thank you, Spirit. There's change on the horizon. You're going to have to make a decision here about where to go when this change comes in here, Aries. Okay, so we have got the King of Pentacles. Five of Cups, the Six of Swords, an Unfinished Symphony, we've got the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, which is your central energy, we'll talk about that in a minute, and the beautiful Empress energy. On the Fork in the Road, we have the Hermit card, the High Priestess, and the beautiful Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Now the central energy here is the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is about creating things that we're passionate about. So going towards what we're passionate about. If we've got a fork in the road here and we have to make a decision, if this is coming up for you, Aries, if it might not be now, it might be in the future, you're going to make sure that you're going down a path that's going to make you happy. So it could be going towards a new course, a new career, a new relationship, uh, learning a new skill going into, you know, um, developing a skill that you already have. But something that you're passionate about, that you know you're going to be happy learning, doing, or being in an environment you're going to be happy in, a relationship. That type of energies. Pages are the ideas of things, the start of it. So we've got an unfinished symphony here, and it could feel that we're stuck in something. Now, this could be we're holding on to something too tightly, and it's stopping us moving forward towards what it is that we should be creating for ourselves here. So this Four of Pentacles, you can see how he's holding on to something. Now, we could be holding on to a relationship because we have financial security within it, for example. We could be holding on to a job that we've got financial security, it pays our bills. But in neither one of these relationships or environments is it bringing us job satisfaction or is our relationship fulfilling. So this type of energy, we need to let go something here uh, to move things forward. Now, when we do that, and we're passionate about where we go, we create this beautiful Empress energy. Now, the Empress energy is about rebirth. It's about rejuvenation. It's about new starts. It could be that you've been waiting for a long time to start a family, and you might have suggested, you know, you've got enough finances behind you now. It seems like it's been going on forever, but you're now in a position to go forward and start your family. So it's rebirth in that sense. It could be you're ready. It's time now to go down, like I say, for a new career path. When you're in this beautiful Empress energy, you're very attractive. So you will attract things to you that are for you. So it's about putting an end to things that are keeping us stuck and coming into this beautiful uh, creative energy and being at one with our environments, our relationships in the universe. So it helps we attract beautiful things towards us. Now a change in the wind here. Here we've got a five, which is change. Now I was talking about you being stuck here. It could be that we're holding on here to past regrets. We want to be coming away from dwelling on the past, disappointments, things that have upset us. Like I say, fives are change, and it's time to move on from that. So there has to be a change here, and the change could be letting go of past regrets and upsets. And when we do that, that mentally moves us forward. We start to move forward energetically to calmer waters. So, like I say, we don't want to be holding on to anything from the past. We want to be looking at our blessings here and we want to be looking at what we can build for ourselves here and what we can create. So, although there's things went on in the past that have maybe been upsetting, there is certainly still blessings. If you turn around, you would see the blessings and that's what we want to be focused on. So, we really want to be in the present. 
not in the past type of energies. Now, that will bring a change and it moves you on. Now, as you're going forward here into calmer waters, you might not see clearly where you're going, but the moon at the back, things will be revealed to you. And sometimes you see spirit in the boat and they are encouraging you to go forward. So it's about leaving our emotions behind or upsetting emotions behind and starting to think about going towards what it is that we want to create for ourselves now. And when we're doing that, we can come into this beautiful king of pentacles energy. Now, he's somebody who has created great things for himself. He's left the past behind. He's not thinking about the past. He's done what he's passionate about. He's built, he's been in a job where he's progressed. So that could be you, you've got a certain amount of financial stability in a job and now you're ready to grow and grow your skills and move towards being promoted. It could also be that you've got a certain amount of security that your job paid, but you also, you now want to put an end to that and you want to create something new or use a skill you have uh, or learn something more to bring you in greater financial security. But whatever this is, there's a change coming for you, Aries, in this uh, along life's path very soon, if it's not already here. And it's designed to create this beautiful stability ahead. He has good a uh, good home life, he's financially secure, good working. He's created his own empire here, and he can sit back and he can enjoy the fruits of his labour. And that's what this is about. This is about you creating this type of energy. So there's change coming. He's not, like I say, he's let go of past events. He focuses on his blessings. He's decided to mentally focus on going forward to what it is he wants to create for himself. And he's done it very, very successfully. He is not in a stuck energy. Definitely not stuck. He's put an end to things that don't serve him well. Now, there's a fork in the road. If there's a decision you need to be making here, there could be a path you need to, the change you need to go down. The changes you need to make here, you need to be using your intuition. Now, your intuition is your gut voice, your soul voice, whatever it is you want to, however it is you, you, you choose to describe it. But it's about listening to how you feel about something. There's no talking involved in this. It's using your gut feelings to feel your way forward. Now, what Spirit's saying here is if there's a decision that needs to be made, you always remember that your, your answers always lie within. So it might be that you want to take some time away from a situation or take some time alone um, to soul search. Do a bit of soul searching here. Uh, if It could be soul searching over what you want to create now, what path you want to go down, or it could be soul searching about making a decision about which path to go down because you've decided what it is you want to do. So how am I going to go about that, for example? I've decided now that I'm going to move away from this stuck energy or anything that's holding me back. Uh, and I'm going to go towards looking for the light for myself. And the answers are always within. So using your intuition and doing a bit of soul searching here, Aries, would serve you well uh, over making this decision of what path you want to go down now. Now, this will bring you into a great place of stability. Now, she again, this could be going into a romantic relationship here, if it's a romantic opportunity. It could be there's been upsets in the past. So it might be that... Because you've been upset in the past, you might not want to go, you might have to think about, do a bit soul searching as to whether you want this relationship. But we don't want to be judging our past experiences and dragging them into the present. Okay, because it didn't happen in the past or work well in the past doesn't mean to say it can't happen or work well now. So use your intuition over anybody that comes forward. If you want to take time to think about it, that's fine. But this could be a very secure couple. A couple who could build a good, stable future for themselves. So a good home life. Like I say, we had the emperor, empress here. The empress, she's very, this energy here, the queen energy, she's very maternal. She's very nurturing. She's very homely. She creates great home comforts around her. She's good with her finances. This partnership here could be very stable. Um, you could build great things together. And you could even end up creating a family with this person. So it's worth doing a bit of soul searching. Like I say, don't dwell in the past over past hurts. We can't change the past. We need to be in the present when we're making these types of decisions about which path to go down. Now, it could also be you because you've come into this beautiful king of um, cups, in, uh, energy, king of pentacles energy. It could be you being able to create now uh, because you're going down that passionate path and you've left things behind you create this beautiful um, 
all your home comforts and being at one with yourself, your environment, so your relationships. So rebirth in that sense, great stability. You bringing in great stability for yourself is definitely uh, on the horizon here. But making good choices and listening to your instinct, ladies. Now, I'm just going to end this reading with an animal spirit message. Could you please look at this, please? Show me spirit clearly. Camel. And this is Archangel Jophiel. Be forthbearing and patient. Be forbearing and patient. So be focused, but be patient about how you want to go about this, because the change is definitely coming. Okay, I hope this helps, Aries. Please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.